Up. No holding, no low blue. Listen to my comment. Touch your hand. Good luck. This is 49 kilogram light flyweight action between boxers from India and England in this gold medal bout. Two skillful southpaws squaring off for a place on top of the medal rostrum. And the boxer wearing red is England's Galalia Fai, ranked number 17 in the world, competing in his fourth bout of the tournament. And he has been in scintillating form throughout, coming off back-to-back -back stoppage victories. But he's just taken a good left hand from the man in blue, and that is the eighth-ranked boxer in the world, Amit. Amit Kumar Pangal to give him his full name, but like many of the Indian boxers at international competition, they register just a single name, and it is Amit, who is in blue. Well, if ever there was a way to start a contest to, to show that you mean business, it was at the start of this one for Yafai. He was straight out on the front foot and taking the contest to his opponent. Amit himself is not a bad kid. He's got a nice left hand over the top, but he, he needs a little bit of time and space to land that shot and that's why I think the English tactics are to get up close to this fella fast tempo force the pace and really take it to him that's what seems to be the tactics from your fight and it's working well up to now but he's got to keep the hands a little bit higher because Armit's coming back with that left hand over the top but it, I think it's a good start positive start from the man in red pushing his man backwards trying to keep him pinned up against the ropes Armit looking to get back to the space of centre ring but Yafai really imposing himself in the opening half of this first round. Good work to the body from Yafai. Yafai caught him with a good shot there, a little left hand. And it's just, it's just made Armit think a little bit. And he, he started to recover now, but he got caught with a good shot there. It was on the inside, it was a short punch. It was a little left hook that came across. But it certainly made Armit think and made him go back a bit. The left hook landed from Armit, but not before he had taken some good punches to the body from Yafai. Cracking atmosphere here at the Oxford Studios. Both of these boxers are very well supported indeed. Yafai continuing to impose his physical strength and then getting to work with his inside fighting skills, looking to find openings, openings in Armit's defences. Nice right uppercut after that pivot from Yafai. He's working better on the inside as Yafai, but a punch he's got to use here, Ronald, is the left uppercut. If you look at Armit, the way he walks forward, leaning his head in, he's open to that shot. Left uppercut here for Yafai on the inside. Yafai continuing to target the body effectively. A 
and Armit. Well, he's demonstrated that he can fight both ways, but for the majority of this tournament, he's been the boxer on the front foot. So something of a new experience in the context of these Commonwealth Games in that for the most part, he was being forced backwards by the incessant front foot pressure of Galalia Fai. Good round for the man in red. I thought this was a good round for Yafai. Started very positively indeed. Just gets caught with the shot there. But Ahmed, he's not doing um, he's not doing any real good work on the inside, this Indian boxer. He needs space, you see. He's a clever fighter, is Ahmed, when he's boxing at mid and long range. Whips the shots over, like that one there. But Yafai, for most of the round, is on the front foot, forcing the pace and pressure. And I thought it was a good round for Yafai. He's coach Lee Pullen, wants a few more straighter shots as well just to vary it, but um, I thought it was a good round for the Englishman. Into the second round then. As well as both, as well as both of these men being top 20 boxers in the world, they both enjoyed success at their respective continental championships. I was in Tashkent, Uzbekistan last summer to see Armit come away with third place on the podium in the Asian Continental Championships as he scores effectively to the body. Lost at the semi-final stage to the man who went on to take gold, that is Hassan Boyduz Matov of Uzbekistan, 2016 Olympic champion and Val Barker trophy winner. Yafai got through with a good right hand to the body a few moments ago. Armit trying to come back with a right hook, he did get through the southpaw left there but was countered immediately by a right hand and Yafai followed with a left uppercut need space you see Armit for the better effective work from your fight on the inside but he's got to listen to his coach we need some straight shots as well maybe the odd feint here and there and draw the lead of Armit the Indian likes to throw this left hand over the top there it is there and again so your has got to trigger that attack adjust the feet and bring him onto shots but again Armit just cannot keep your fire at bay. The Englishman is all over him. So halfway through the second round, it was Hassan Boydos Matov who also outpointed Armit at the World Championships at the quarter-final stage. As Matov went on to take silver eventually. And in his continental championships, Yafai came away with second place on the podium losing a very narrow 3-2 split against Vasily Egrov of Russia in the gold medal bout. So both of these men on the rise through their respective continents and indeed globally. Jockeying for Tokyo 2020 begins now, but more immediately, it's still Yafai bulldozing his man backwards and the busier boxer on the inside. Yes, he is. He's got to use his jab a little bit better, though, has Yafai, when he's closing the gap down. But nevertheless, the better work is from the Englishman on the inside. And remember, you know, boxing isn't all about mid and long range. Inside work as well, short range. And we have an example of it here from Yafai, who's working very well. But Armit is always in this contest. Give him a bit of space, and he's very dangerous. But it's definitely Yafai that's doing the better work on the inside at short range. Both of these nations sent 12 strong teams to represent here at Gold Coast 2018. England leading the way in terms of finalists with seven. India right behind them with six. Good left hand over the top was a nice counter shot from Armit right before the bell. So Yafai just keeps coming forward. Ahmed had some success here and there in this round. But for most of it, again, I thought Yafai better on the inside. Always taking the contest to his opponents on the front foot. Little uppercuts here and there as well from Yafai. Bit scrappy at times, but it's the Englishman that's going forward. Ahmed coming back with some better shots towards the end of the round. And both will want to... A good last round here, Ronald, both boxes. So 
into the third and final round then. Galalia fight marching across the ring again is immediately targeting the body of the man in blue but then look at the right hand and left hook success excuse me left hand right hook success upstairs scored by Amit but Galalia Fai just proving irresistible he will not concede any ground and in these type of grappling exchanges at center ring it is he who is proving the stronger driving the man backwards and he's busier with his hands and he's landing the more effective work he might have hurt Armit there to the body. A couple of good body shots that went in from your fight. Armit is still trying to rally, but he's less effective on the inside. But Armit with that left hand over the top, he needs again a little bit of time and space to land that shot. Your fight's got to keep his right hand a little bit higher as he's going forward to try and block that left hand over the top. But again, good body work there from your fight. Good right jab through the middle, followed by a left from Armit, but again they were straight shots, just illustrating the point that when given space, this man is incredibly dangerous. Yafai trying to deny him that, right back into the pocket once again, pushing him back with the shoulder, continually letting his hands go from both flanks. Good right hand to the body from Yafai. Armit still tucked up on the inside, looking for his own punches, but he's less effective through that portion of the round there was a good right jab catching your fight as he came in yeah hurtful shots downstairs from your fight Armit desperate to maintain or get a gap between himself and the Englishman but again your fight will not leave him alone on that front foot keep switching the attack with them hooks to the body then the head now Armit is coming back tracking contest Yep, Armit getting onto the front foot. Good left uppercut on the inside from Yafai was landed. Yafai pushing his man off once again. One of the boxing brothers, Yafai, out of Birmingham, learned his trade at the Birmingham City Club, where the stalwart is the venerable long-time boxing lifer, Franco Sullivan, MBE. And he and the other two Yafai brothers all learned their trade there. Galal emulated older brother Kalu when European silver in 2010. Already mentioned that Galal oh. did that last year. The mouthpiece has come out. That's an old trick from Armit there, just to get some more time. Just to buy a little bit, bit of time there. Clever. Well, he's no doubt going to rally now, having had that brief intermission. And so too is your fire, of course. Both boxers continuing to compete keenly in the closing seconds of this third and final round. The army is really feeling the pace now, this Indian. Again, struggling to hold in the mouthpiece. Ten second clapper has sounded. Armit trying to get onto the front foot. Yafai holding his feet and Yafai raises his right arm immediately because he was Three minutes of non-stop pressure and effective aggression from the man in red. Armit played his part. He wasn't overwhelmed, but I think he was outworked. And surely it's Galalia fight who will go through to claim Commonwealth Games gold. We're going to the five scoring judges. How will they see this contest? Well, right from the first opening belt, your fight on that front foot. Great example of short range work. Let's see how it goes. belt as a split points decision in favor of the red corner galalia fight is the commonwealth games gold medalist in the 49 kilogram light flyweight division a brilliant series of displays through the course of the tournament tournament culminating here with a 3-1 split decision victory over